do after I won the foreclosure sale at the courthouse step? Am I just, yeah! Well, first of all, you didn't win if it's just the very first day. Remember, there's a 10 day upset bid period. If you don't know about that, watch this other video right here and we talk about the 10 day upset bid period. So you are sitting there winning the property. You've got 30 to 45 days to close on it. And you talk to your attorney, the one that did all that nice title work for you. And they are going to close the property. And once you close it, then what do you have? You get the keys? Actually, no, you're not going to get any keys to the property because the bank doesn't have keys. Also, if there's anything or anyone inside of that property, it's your responsibility to get rid of it. A lot of times banks will actually do what's called cash for keys. They will offer money to people to leave their property in broom swept condition. Meaning, please don't mess up our crap. I don't want to have to pay somebody else to come in here. I'll give you 500 bucks. It's easier for me to do that than file the eviction process. Yes, you could have to evict an owner of a property that you own now. I had to do it myself. Terrible, but it's part of the whole situation. Yes, there is a chance that you're actually gonna have to evict the previous owner of the property. It's a terrible situation to have to do to watch people get drug out of their properties, things like that. But it is all part of the foreclosure situation. It's actually happened to me after I tried to do the cash for keys and the lady decided she wanted to take my cash for keys money and then she didn't want to actually go through with the deal. How to do the foreclosure process. Sucks, but it's part of the whole real estate industry. So after all this is going on, you've closed on the property. In some states, they have what's called a right of redemption. Look, this is where North Carolina actually got something right. We don't have a right of redemption state, meaning the previous owner cannot come back in and pay off all this stuff and kick you back out of the property. Some states actually have the right of redemption period that you pretty much can't do anything for a little bit until that seller says, nope, I give up. I'm not gonna try to get my property back. We don't have that here in North Carolina. So as soon as you close on the property with your attorney and everybody's out of it, you can start doing whatever you want to with it. You can turn the power on and whatnot. Remember, you're not gonna be able to do any kind of work on the property within that 30 to 45 day window where it's after the upset bid period's over and you gotta do your closing. No, you can't do anything right there. You don't own the property yet. So don't be thinking that you're gonna go start snooping in there and start taking your stuff out and paint and things like that. See, a lot of people do that and then it comes back and they didn't actually get to even close on the property and they've done all this work. Big tip, don't start remodeling until you actually have closed on your property, no matter if it's a foreclosure or a regular sale. So if you got any more questions on how the foreclosure process works, please feel free to reach out to me. I've bought a tremendous amount. That's actually how I got started in real estate was buying properties at the courthouse step. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of risk and you got to be able to take a gamble and make sure that it's worth your gamble whenever you do. Let me know if you got any questions. Be glad to help you out.